Hi, my name is James Clem. Let's talk about the baseline drawing for implants. As I've designed more implants, I'm finding that baseline, how we draw that on the tissue, is really critical for the proposal and finishing process. Think of it this way. If you're wanting to design an ideal ovate ponic, you're gonna take that baseline and draw it similar to the diameter of the root trunk. Usually, with best implant design using the CEREX system, you want to form the sulcus first, such as like with a anatomical healing cap. This healing cap is actually from ContourHealer.com. I got this idea from Dr. D. Alavera, and they really work nice. As you can see, the sulcus and the emergence is really well formed. The best way to operate with the CEREX system is to preform your soft tissues. That way, when you draw your baseline, you draw your baseline to the height of contour and that so-called free gingival margin, and your proposal doesn't require a lot of work. What happens when a patient comes in and you don't have a pre-contoured soft tissue? Well, the principle is the same. What I'll do is look at the soft tissue. I'm gonna draw that baseline ideal for the size of the root trunk, regardless of the condition of the tissue. Now, one caveat here, don't draw the baseline on unattached tissue. <laughs> it just doesn't work too well. As long as you have attached tissue, when you draw that baseline on the attached tissue, you will find that the emergence to the baseline will be easier to design in the software. The other thing we want to realize is that when we're designing an implant, the sub-gingival one millimeter is critical and then you feather and taper that down to the implant platform depending on the size of the implant that you use. So the critical thing here is baseline and the one millimeter subgingival. Let's go ahead and review a few more points on this and illustrations together.